evening, everybody. After two historically cold days, we're starting starting <laughs> to thaw out. And all over the tri-state, that is leading to problems with burst pipes and flooding. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch is live downtown at 800 Broadway with new information on the efforts to reopen that Hamilton County building. Hi, Jeff. Well, good afternoon. You know, I have a frozen pipe at my house, and it has not burst, so I consider myself lucky. But the flood of problems here at the building which houses the Hamilton County Juvenile Court, and I stress the word flood, the flood of problems has gotten worse. Yesterday afternoon, a sprinkler head on the second floor burst, sending thousands of gallons of water down to the first floor and the basement. The elevator shafts were also flooded. It was a soggy mess and an impossible place to work. Some computers were damaged, others were covered up, and therefore were not uh, heard. And the data from the computers is to believe to be okay because the servers are not impacted, they think. There are other floors here above the flood which were not impacted by the leak, but power in the entire building has been out. So it's been cold, wet, and dark. And not only that, there is now more water to clean up. Yes, um, we had a, um, another sprinkler head leak um, on the other side of the building here. And um, so, you know, we're obviously having uh, restoration crews in and cleaning up and trying to mitigate it. What is this going to do for uh, getting court back on schedule? Well, really, as I indicated yesterday, it comes down to having power. Um, and we have uh, another facility, our youth center, that we have some courtrooms and we can work up there. Um, but we obviously would like to get the power here because we have a much greater capacity for work here. Now, uh, the hope was that the power would be back on by 3 o'clock a couple of hours ago, but I ducked my head in there, and it's uh, still cold, dark, and wet. Live at the Juvenile Court, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. All right, Jeff, thank you. And if you do have a court hearing that needs to be rescheduled, there is information on how to do that on Local12.com. Just click on the red Get It button.